Hi, I'm Alan Tower, and I own a nursery in Spokane, Washington. At this nursery, I sell a lot of different kinds of plants, and, and I have to have a label-making machine uh, in order to uh, identify them for my customers. I have bought that machine through Sato, and I use their Tagit Pro um, software. I had the previous version of Tagit Pro and just had to update to Tagit Pro 12 when I uh, got my new computer. I would have been extremely disappointed by the fact that I have had to reformat all of my files uh, in order to uh, use them because the this version of Tagit Pro, it was unable to successfully uh, import files from the previous version of the program. I think this is really unusual, but the best way to show you is to show you. Uh, these are all the steps that are required in order to um, uh, transform just a single file, and if you look through this list here, you can see I happen to have over 15,000 files um, because we have so many different kinds of plants. Um, I mean, if, you, so if you're really trying to uh, think about how long it takes for me to just fix one, multiply that times 15,000, and I think you'll see why I'm disturbed that it can't import the old data. Uh, but I am stuck with this software. Uh, uh, the reason being I've spent the thousands of dollars on the machinery and it only works with this software. And uh, the other reason being that I have 15,000 different plants with all their data um, uh, identified in this, in this software. So it's not a, a simple thing to change companies because this, they didn't do a good job on this. But, wow, did, has it been a pain. Um, let's, just, um, let's just open one and show you what has to be done to uh, do it. First, I'm typing in the name because it's quicker than scrolling uh, through this long list. And we can see that we have this um, uh, Alcea rosea, and it comes up wanting to convert it. So I'll click on the convert, and it will say that it's being converted, but it will show all these warnings because it doesn't really work right. And then you hit the preview, the preview and approve converted label. Ah, and then looky there, it stopped working and it wants to close the program. Now, this happens pretty often. Um, it's funny that it happened on the very first thing I tried to record and show you, um, but it's such a buggy program that, that that's not unusual. Um, and I just have to uh, start it over again and try, try again. Um, it's, um, but that's why I, I think that it's just pretty sad what what um, what we're having to go through here and now of course we're kind of getting uh, that one's because it was part open and it quit working that file may be so corrupted I can't really open it I'll have to create it from scratch so let's just go to a different one for for now so you don't have to sit through all the torture that I have to go through with this thing um, Let's just open up this one. And we'll convert it. And as usual, of course, it doesn't work. It never works. This isn't, that's not, this, this isn't, doesn't work. But you say you have to approve it, see, because it requires that you approve it. And then you close that. And then you hit the OK button. And then it comes up and it's, and the, 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 um, letters are all 
no longer fit on the on this as you can see it extends beyond it and it show it's come up it's changed it from Arial 9 to Arial 6 in this instance it's funny because it doesn't always convert it the same way but we have to change it and notice that the Arial 6 is fairly long this line is pretty long but we'll make it a bigger size we'll make it nine and look it's it's shorter because what it says it's doing and what it is doing is completely different uh, it's the conversion is so messed up that's as good as it can do so I get this back to its original uh, sizes of fonts so now it's the correct size and now what do I have to do now I have to hit the printer setup button and I have to tell the temperature for the print head I have to raise that on individually on each one uh, the software is incapable of simply letting you select the right temperature for all the um, all of them they're all the same but I have to do this item by item I also have to go down to the ribbon into the print mode and select a thermal transfer or else my ribbon won't even take won't even uh, advance uh, when I use it so that has to be reformatted because of the mistakes in their in their programming that has to be reformatted on each and every one as well then I can hit OK then I hit the save button and then I can hit the print button and I can actually print a label of this particular label and it prints successfully um, then now in the old style the last version of this software they had a convenient drop-down menu that you printed from that doesn't exist anymore even though that was much better now we're using something far worse we have to go in here and individually close this file then open the next file so let's see if let's just do one more um, we'll open another hosta that needs to be converted and I'll do this one with less talking so you can see kind of how fast I can get when I go as fast as I know how to go um, and you can see it even though I have a lot of practice with it it still takes it still takes time on each and every item um, to, to, to go through all these steps um, and it's um, let's see your printer setup temperature and then change the feed pattern of this so it's a thermal transfer then hit save and then I need three of those and print them. and then close and that's that's what I have to do times 15,000 and then there are the ones where the whole system crashes um, in addition that you know really makes it um, uh, a special treat to use because uh, you get to go back and really fix everything from ground zero and uh, try try all over again um, the um, the other thing that this has shown and I won't make you sit through so many of these so that you'll you'll see it but um, I was lucky that the crash happened fast um, but I'll tell you the other thing that this shows is um, uh, it will often say that my that it is run out of memory with only one file open I find that rather hilarious given that the pro the computer that I'm using has 64 gigabytes of memory of RAM um, it's got you know several terabytes of hard drive storage solid-state drives I have an extraordinarily large uh, six core i7 processor I mean I have a state-of-the-art computer that's a monster um, I mean very I'll bet you that anybody listening to this you probably don't have 64 gigabytes of RAM in your computer 
and and it is obscene to think that this thing can't you know doesn't have enough memory or could run out of memory and what that really means is of course not that the computer lacks memory but this software is so poorly written that it can't access memory it can't make use of all the memory that's there um, uh, I, I let me just say that if you need um, labeling software do anything you can to avoid buying uh, software from Sato and Taggett um, and the, their other brand uh, that they, they, they're made by the Taggett is sold under two names so just make sure you don't have it um, by any other in any other sheep's clothing because I think it's actually sold and marketed under the same software under a few different names so you want to make sure that you're, you're, you have a system that is more reliable and better supported than this. I've spent hours and hours on helplines with, with their staff um, and ultimately decided to invest uh, in the microphone and the software so that I could make this little demo video just so I could help you guys not get stuck in this same situation. Thank you for your time.